Hey, uh, hey, Anthony, do you like do you like my new shirt? Sure, man. It's cool. Could have been better. What was that? I said it could have been better. You want to fight about yeah, it? Yeah, I do. Let's go, chump. <laughs> Hold on a second. We don't need to fight. We don't? All you need to do is go to 86.com and choose from one of their many designs. Franchises range from Skullgirls to Street Fighter and even Blaze Blue. And if you check out 86 through this Twitch channel, use 86.com slash question mark AFF equals four to let them know that Mission Star Podcast sent you. I, I I enjoy what I'm saying. Now I'm enjoying what I'm hearing. All right, <laughs> I dig it. I dig it. We we in Tentacle Four 2020. <laughs> Where's that image I have saved? It's, I don't like this. I'm in this picture. <laughs> <laughs> well, in a, in a weird transition somehow or some kind of weird segue, uh, Ninja. Um. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, I can make this work. I can make this work. Okay, so we're going to be transitioning oh, to Ninja, and as we all know, most likely into weed and porn. Continue. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay, so uh, uh, so this is recent. So this happened, I want to say, last week. Um, to me, this is probably one of the biggest news stories that happened in recent memory, just because... Uh, this this Twitch streamer Ninja, for those who don't know, is a huge Fortnite tw- uh, Twitch streamer on Twitch. Um, has a cr- let's, let's be fair. His his popularity is primarily because he played with Drake. But that is true. He did well because no, of that. No, but he only, no, 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 he only played with Drake because he was popular. <laughs> no, seriously, okay. that's how that works. Yeah. Extended popularity is because of Drake. No, well, yeah, no, it, it, it okay. has. Added on to his user, uh, to his well, see, it, it 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 pushed him into the uh, the uh, mainstream normie mm-hmm. realm yeah. of of at least being noticed, you yeah. know. But but Nin- Ninja's been around for a very very long time. I would oh, say, I know he has. Yeah, yeah. But he as far as like, like for a really into... really long time too, mm-hmm. like he yeah. just was not popular for a long time. Yeah. Well, that, that, like I had heard about him and seen his stream prior to him playing with Drake. My point was is that he would average two thousand people on his channel, two to three thousand people. Now, because of the thing with Drake, he averages twenty five hundred. He averages shroud numbers. Yeah. So yeah. That, well, you could, well, you could, you know, argue the thing is that like the whole thing with uh, with with Drake that kind of started streamers being pushed more and being accepted I'm not, I'm not, widely by the mainstream. You know. Man, I'm not knocking it. I'm just stating a fact. <laughs> anyway, oh, no, 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 the no. fucking point. <laughs> I'm sure. The fucking, so okay. the, the fucking point with Ninja is that Ninja uh, had a, uh, he basically signed a contract or a deal with Microsoft to stream on Mixer. Um, and this was announced last week and it, it kind of, you see the video behind us. Like that is the kind of pseudo um, press conference of him explaining, you know, his move. And I'll read this article from Wire.com that goes more into it. Uh, Ninja is arguably the most popular uh, streamer ever, and he is no longer on Twitch. As reported by Polygon, Ninja, uh, aka uh, Tyler uh, Blevins, announced on Thursday that he's leaving Twitch.tv for Mixer, exclusively broadcasting on the uh, comparatively smaller, more niche service. Niche is a relatively term here, though while Twitch.tv is a part of Amazon's massive internet monopoly, Mixer is owned by Microsoft, which is investing in the platform in the hopes of getting a piece of the growing industry. No word on what caused the switch. The rumors of a big payout from Microsoft were swirling naturally. In a video, Ninja explained the move saying, quote, it's the same me, just a different platform, unquote, and pointing out that his first game as a professional player was Halo. So returning to Microsoft uh, Fold is maybe a little like coming home, um, which makes sense. Yeah. If, if Microsoft was going to bring Ninja in, um, and he has tie, he has roots to uh, Halo. You, you damn well know that he will be definitely dead in center when Halo Infinite comes out. 
and Microsoft can use that to promote uh, the game and have him stream on Mixer and promote it more so on there as well. Um, yeah. Perfect sense. Perfect sense. I think that for me, when I saw the this move happen, when he went from Twitch.tv to Mixer, to me, it felt like seeing a high-level uh, athlete being traded to another team. Um, and we have... It, it caused a lot of questions when he left. And, it, you know, some of the things I saw recently, too, was, you know, are is, is Twitch going to start paying... Uh, top streamers to stay on their on their platform, um, or like they when, already do. That's true. That's true. But even more so, but, like no, like you. So you don't. So those who actually stream on Twitch, Anthony, um, Greg, you guys know. Once you get like affiliate, the first step, what your payout is, like how much you get per, for the subs and stuff like that. If you right. hit mm -hmm. affiliate, or if you Googled it, because you can find this information online, there's certain levels you do it. Right. What you never find out is the partnership level ones. Partnership level ones are dictated literally on how popular you are. So while, say myself as an affiliate, I get half of the sub. A partner might be pulling 70 to 80% of that sub subscription to, as their profit. Yeah. And Twitch keeps the rest. They have higher percentages. They get special incentives to stay with them. Twitch is already doing this. The difference is, and people can, I've heard people try and tell me no. I've heard people try and claim that it didn't happen. Microsoft just straight up paid out guaranteed cash payments. That's what they offered him. There's no way with his with his entire base being on Twitch that they didn't just offer him a cash guaranteed cash payment plus whatever he makes on subs. I, There's no way they didn't. I, yeah, for sure. I agree with you, Alex. Like that. It no, makes you're not allowed sense. to agree with me. Stop <laughs> it. No, it's, <laughs> weird. Stop it. it's weird, Alex. I know. It'll be okay. It'll be all right. I feel dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. Um, but no, seriously, like it makes perfect sense that that Microsoft paid him a, a huge amount of money to be on the platform, whether it's in increments of that large sum or a straight fucking check of like ten million. He I, got paid a huge amount to go to Mixer. Mixer. I would assume that they basically went like, okay, let's take a look at your last two three years of subscriptions. How much did you make for your on your subscriptions? We will pay you that yearly. We'll break it down into monthly payments. We'll pay you that for the first three, five years, whatever. Just like yeah. you would, like, if you're drafting from the NBA, it's, hey, here's how much you're guaranteed over five years. Mm -hmm. Same that's, idea. That's yep. true. And the thing yep. is, though, you know, if you if you were kind of guessing work as far as, like, what how much money would be involved, reminder, like, you know, not too long ago, like, there was a report saying he made 500000 a month playing Fortnite on his Twitch channel. So if you take that into consideration, you could have a, a guess as far as like how much Microsoft might have paid him for him to come over to Mixer um, and maybe something much more bigger than what he was already getting at Twitch. And considering that mm -hmm. all the the, the uh, subs that were and the donations and sponsorships that were uh, yeah. helping him out. I do want to follow it up with the article that uh, afterwards kind of like what was the result of all this. Um, so this is from TheVerge.com. Written by uh, Julia Alexander, Ninja hits 1 million subscribers on Mixer five days after leaving Twitch. After just five days of streaming, Tyler Ninja Belvins is boasting 1 million active subscribers on Mixer, a Microsoft-owned platform that made him jump from Twitch. Uh, quote, thank you for all the incredible support, uh, unquote, Belvins tweeted when he announced the milestone. I haven't felt this good in a long time. Um, whether Belvin fans would follow him from Twitch to Mixer, a much smaller platform compared to Amazon's streaming behemoth, has been uh, he has has been a question on the minds of everyone in the streaming community this past week. One million subscribers over five days is an impressive feat, regardless of platform, and it is a strong testament to Belvin's popularity and the strength of his personal brand, regardless of platform. So, well, see, there's 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 a uh, a caveat to that though. Is that uh, right now, Mixer, they're offering a uh, free sub to his channel if you go on there for yep. the first that is, time. That is very true. Yeah. That is very don't, true. Don't don't take those words as gospel because yeah. it's literally like, it, it's like Amazon Prime. I subbed and then it's gone and did I decide to renew it. So yeah, I wouldn't so... take any of that because Twitch could literally month. put my channel on there and be like, hey, if you sub to this guy, you get a free month. People would probably fucking do it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I mean, I, I think it's going to be more telling over the next month or two to see um, 
how much he's going to have after the you know this this free sub thing runs out to see how he's doing after that compared to what he was doing on twitch but even then it doesn't really matter because he's already got his his guaranteed amount of money his contract you know That's true. I, I do i do want to point one thing out that i think is important and a few people have pointed this out that ultimately this is this is a good thing um because this is competition the, is good competition yes. that, that yeah. twitch needs exactly uh, um now now the question comes into play of like how will this competition play out will it become a situation where they're just paying high name streamers to be on their thing a la epic game store um which like is that a good thing is that a bad thing i don't know we'll see but as of right now having a big name streamer on a different platform is a good thing we could see that change. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm just going to be doing some quick math here real quick. I'm still participating in this, but I'm going to do some quick math really quick to give you a general okay. idea. If they <clears throat> use the actual uh, rules for, um, say, if he was like an affiliate, um, how much he would be pulling down in just raw terms uh, based on what his current subscriber count is. Mm -hmm. So this should be kind of interesting. Give me just mm -hmm. a few moments. Math is hard. <laughs> <laughs> Duly okay, to be fair, I'm dealing with literally like, okay, so for example, and I'm pulling this information from TwitchTracker.com for anybody who wants to go double check my math. He has 7,373 prime subscriptions, 2,834 tier one subscriptions. So like I'm using big numbers here. Bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> Duly noted. Duly noted. While you crunch those numbers, we're going to crunch some news on some Evo that happened. Uh, wait. Well, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I. I. There's. 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 There's a uh, something I want to bring up here with this whole like Microsoft thing. Okay. Okay. And and what we're, we're going to do here, we're going to grab our tinfoil hats. We're going to we're going to put them on for a second here, for something that uh, got brought to my attention. Well, I think I it leads in, into the whole Microsoft thing. I was about to try to spin Alex Jones's name into like. Okay. All right. Really I've got the total, guys. I've got the total. Okay. Okay. Rough math. And this is super rough math. So he's probably making way more than this on subscriptions alone. With his current subscription count on Twitch, he is making $26,353.91 a month. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Keep in mind, like I said, because he is a really popular streamer, he probably has a higher payout. So you could, pro you can assume he's probably pulling down somewhere in the range of thirty-five grand a month on just subs. That's yeah. not yeah. including bits, donations, and all that stuff that people always give out to yeah. him. Yeah, and then that, that's also not counting too, uh, where uh, Twitch and other game companies they've they've been uh, throwing out money to streamers and whatnot to that's play true. their games. That's and whatnot. very very true. Like uh, Final Final Fantasy fourteen was was throwing out money for for streamers to hop on and play like so many hours or so many days of yeah. of uh, Shadowbringers. Also, here's um, an interesting one too. I think he might have jumped. Because I'm looking at the raw data here, his subscriber count's been going down a lot. Interesting. On Twitch you know, or on Mixer? On Twitch. Well, so, well, I mean, that for would, example, because he's not well, he's there anymore, because <laughs> he's moved yeah, to no, Mixer. No, 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 no. He capped out in March of 2018 at 250,055 subscribers. But see, there was that. There was a whole thing that had had had, had happened in his stream where. Uh, People started freaking out like how much he made through some sort of like TV interview, I think, or something like that. I could be wrong mm -hmm. on that. But either way, people figured it out and some of his subs were like, oh, well, you're making too much money. And they just started just like mass leaving. Weird. Yeah, I can like, I can tell you like, what it happened. It happened between May and uh, after May, May and June. He jumped, he went from two, uh, 231,722 subs to 135,602. He yeah, lost, so well, he lost almost a hundred thousand subscribers in a month. Jesus. Yeah, and and it was it was it was pretty much due, um, I think from that that whole thing with people figuring out how much money he's making. They're like, okay, well, you're making too much, which is, it's 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 such a shitty thing. But I mean, it's a it, fair it statement happens. though. He's making he it was is. making a fuck ton of money. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it is, but you know, mm -hmm. it's like, fuck, yeah. like. I mean, to, be, to be fair, I'm not going to sub to Shroud, even though I do enjoy watching him, because of his subscriber number. I'd rather sub yep. to a smaller guy. Yeah, I'd rather sub to somebody who's like, got like, you know, 
maybe 100 subs because honestly as much as the big streamers make it sound like they're super appreciative of your sub and i'm sure they are appreciative of it the guy who has like 10 to 100 subscribers it's so much more happy about it yeah like, yeah i've yeah, literally sure. seen people sure. break down and cry because people sub to them i don't mm -hmm. want to make that sound like that shroud or these big streamers like ninja don't deserve oh, no. it no, no, I'm no, no. They, they, they've like, earned the recognition they have. I agree with you on that. They earned it. But at the same time, do we need to really support, give as much support as we do to people like Dr. Disrespect? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, I it's, yeah. So I, I kind of understand that. Uh, but if you're already subbed, <laughs> yeah. Like, it's kind of like you already. You're already in. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're already in. Yeah. 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 So I, I'm yeah. thinking maybe the move to Mixer was actually because of this. It might be. Because. He's been going down pretty much every month. Like, it's not very pretty. I do, I do want to say, I still have my tinfoil hat on, Ramen. So, the fuck were you going to say? Okay, so, okay, tinfoil hats. So, recently, okay, it got brought to my attention by uh, Ember. You guys all know Ember. So, I go over to hang out with her, and she's like, oh, let's play Minecraft. And I'm like, why do you want to play Minecraft? Like, like out of out of nowhere. Um, and she was like, oh, well, uh, Jack Septicai is playing it and it looked like fun. And I'm like, Jack Septicai is playing Minecraft? So then I, I start like looking into it and it turns out that Jack Septicai is playing it, PewDiePie is playing it, a bunch of, a bunch of newer YouTubers and streamers started playing like Minecraft again. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, why is that? I'm like, okay, <clears throat> probably because Microsoft and, and Mojang actually are throwing money at them actually to, to start Ron, playing I, I minecraft tell you right now how that started hmm. it started as a fucking meme and i'm not kidding are you serious it was yeah, no, it's, it's a meme it was meme. a joke between pewdiepie and grande and a bunch of others that um fortnite had lasted its its time and that it was time to promote and play only minecraft so it became a oh gag my God. And like a bunch of these big streamers and 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 uh youtubers got in on the joke and so suddenly minecraft is blowing up again yeah i wish to god that was okay fake. okay okay my 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 tinfoil hat has been destroyed because i was thinking <laughs> like i was thinking i was thinking it was like oh microsoft throwing money at minecraft the logic is sound. and well, then like throwing, sound, throwing but... money at streamers so it's just like i'm not willing to completely minecraft. disregard your theory because yeah a lot of the memes kind of came from larger people mm. from what i saw i don't know how organic it actually was so maybe there's yeah. a nugget of truth in there but it's mostly due to the memes yeah mm. yeah yeah well but i mean like either either way microsoft are making moves in really weird ways when it comes to like streaming and like like uh having support for their games like media wise you know, like YouTube and shit. I thought. I, I think that what Microsoft is doing is brilliant. I think that bringing obviously the the biggest player in Twitch streaming right now to their platform is a, is a right move, especially with yeah, the ties I, he has to Halo. Like it's a great move for him, and it could possibly and, make him more sales um, for video you know, game think, products. Thinking about it, like as as a um, smallest a smaller streamer, um, I was kind of considering going to Mixer because yes. right now you have you have you have all these eyes that are shifting to Mixer and be like, okay, like what is this? What is on there, right? So yes. what that does is, is it creates holes that Mixer has that that Twitch already has filled, right? So stuff like podcasts, stuff like like I don't know, like IRL streams and like whatnot. Oh. There's not a lot of that going on on Mixer. Are, are you so saying, that opens up the like doors? Are you saying we should go stream on Mixer now? Yeah. So, so well, here's we could, the thing. We though. could there's, we there's, could there's... We, we could call it Mission Star Podcast in the mix. There's two. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Uh, there's two ways to look at this. There's that way, which is not to say that's not correct. The other is we're seeing more and more people who have larger followings leave the platform, which means that those uh those openings are starting to form again in Twitch. Mm. So I, you, you kind of have to play the numbers. Are you willing to go risk it on a, on a Microsoft product, which may or may not be successful, or are you willing to hold out, hold tight on Twitch and keep pounding the pavement and see what happens there when people start abandoning that platform, which is already well established. Yeah. yeah well, well, but I mean, I, I, I feel like that those, those, those holes are way harder to, 
to uh, to fit on Twitch because it's so um, I would say over, over uh, help me out here saturated. Like it like is right oversaturated because, at the moment, because, but as people leave, the saturation starts to thin out. Yeah, it's it, also. It, I mean, I guess so, but there's there's just so many people on Twitch because because everything can stream Twitch. My PS4 can stream Twitch, and that that's what I've been streaming on. You that, know? that that is true. Whereas but... where whereas Mixer can be PC and Xbox only. You can't you can't stream on it. From okay. Because fuck you, Sony. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> you know what you did. <laughs> yeah. It... Point out that, uh, what I find fascinating is that Twitch and YouTube are still the two biggest uh, uh, content providers in terms of video games. Um, apparently, there's this whole thing where Twitch is like. Or not Twitch. I'm sorry. YouTube is slowly trying to get rid of the video game aspect. Yeah, they're get, they're getting rid of the live streaming aspect. Mm -hmm. Oh well, they've That's been they've 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 been getting rid of that for like a minute. Just just, yeah. just, just by the way that like the, the the rules that they put in place for like video game uh, content. Yeah. It's, I'm not the, saying, uh, it's, yeah, it's the YouTube that, gaming. I'm yeah. not saying that they're wrong. Because I, 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 they could absolutely be wrong. Because it's fucking Aaron Hansen for Christ's sake. But um, <laughs> the Game Grumps had changed, had had created a new channel called the Grumps, which is their yeah. live action shit. And they did a Q and A. And one of the questions was about the video game stuff. And um, Dan had kind of mentioned it briefly. And then Aaron was saying that it's not an it's not an unknown thing. But YouTube is trying to slowly get rid of. Um, again, if he could be wrong. Is slowly trying to get rid of the video game stuff and push it to the side while promoting uh, more creative stuff or what the fuck ever. And um, so that's, from what I understand, that's the case. Again, the source may not be true or may not be correct, but um, if that is the case, and this is the point I was getting at, what I think is interesting about that is that YouTube doesn't really have a competitor. It's never mm -hmm. had a competitor. Like Vimeo's come out and other companies have tried, but nothing's really worked. And I truly, truly feel that this move is that competition for Twitch. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'd love to see something like that for YouTube, but I don't know what it could be. Uh, that I hope that uh -huh. it happens, but it, I don't think it will. It, it won't happen for YouTube. It's too, it's too monolithic. Twitch is huge, yes, but... It's easier to get people to convince people to take their stream from there to somewhere else. Whereas, yeah. if you have an established YouTube channel, you don't want to move that. Yeah, that yeah. is yeah. a huge thing. You I don't want to lose it. Late. I was thinking it was yeah. too late. Well, see, yeah, I, yeah. It, it, it's easier to it's easier to try and convince your streaming community to follow you over to a new streaming platform than it is for a video watching community to be like, "Hey, stop using this one where you watch everybody else and come follow me over here." Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, see, I had, yeah. I, I had always hoped that that Twitch would eventually become the the YouTube of gaming, like just just gaming, they, to where they have to yeah. where they give you the option of like uploading your videos and like whatnot, like not not just live streams. They they you know? do and they do have that feature. Like they have a bot they have a bot system yeah. where you can upload videos. Yeah, but but I mean, is it like to to where to so so if if I was to edit a video. Of gameplay or, or me talking with that, I could upload it just on Twitch. You can, yes, if you want to, and it yeah. would show up on like a. Okay, I did not. Know. Yeah, I thought it yeah, would be the only favorite. Uh, the, the, well, but there are certain rules around it. So, like mm -hmm. on YouTube, it sticks around until either it gets struck down with the copyright, which is more likely than not, or you remove it yourself. On Twitch, a lot of the times there's a time limit for how long it will stay on there, and then it gets automatically removed. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So. It's not that you can put it on there and it lives forever. It's you can put it on there. And that's about it. Okay. Yeah. 